Year's Day. And she flew in from Jerusalem, and that's a long way to come to visit your cousin, even if you love him. And I was wondering why she came to see me, and I, I said, Lee, I'm really honored that you, she's a rabbi. I said, I'm really honored that you came all the way from Jerusalem to come hang out with me, but why'd you come? And she said, oh, I just want to be with you. And I knew there was something else going on. Yeah. And so the last day before she leaves, she's about to go to the ferry to get on the plane. She says, I need to show you something. I want to take you into the other room. And so we go in the other room and I sit down on the bed and I had this weird feeling in my stomach, you know, because you don't know what's going to happen. And she takes this beautiful scarf and she opens up this scarf and there are eight books sitting there. And I'm like, what, what are those? And she said, well, those are your mom's journals. Yeah. So any, any of y'all that have followed me for a while know that I dedicated my first record to my mother. So my mom, my mom, my mom died when I was 21 years old after a 16-year bout with cancer. And a lot of why I play music and why, why I do it the way I do, why I keep my heart out and I, and I play the way I play is because of my mom, because of, because of dealing with that. So to be able to read my mother's thoughts in the last 10 years of her life, was possibly, after the birth of my children, the greatest gift I've ever been given. And so I went, thank you, I went to play, uh, thank you, Southern. I went to play a cruise, it was the first time I'd ever been on a cruise, and I didn't know anybody. So I took, I took the books, and I was out in the Bahamas, and every morning I'd get a cup of coffee, and I'd sit in that little stateroom, and I'd open up the blinds, and I'd look at that beautiful blue water, and I would, I would read these, these thoughts of my mother's, um, the most beautiful things, and, and some of them were really intimate thoughts, and you'd think they'd be embarrassing, and hey, let me just tell y'all something, it's not, because there's no secrets, you know what I mean, like, even the stuff that would have been stuff that she would have been embarrassed as hell that I read, was beautiful, because it was my mom, you know what I'm saying, so now, when I play this song, which has always meant a lot to me, and I know my voice a little bit, a little bit rough tonight, but y'all just feel the spirit in it, because I'm going to put as much as I can, um, and y'all sing along with me, because this song, for all the mamas in the world, but this one is called Paint Me a Blue Sky. And thank you so much for coming out. Thanks for Kessler for so having such a beautiful venue. And thanks for sharing your night with us tonight. God bless you, Ian.
Thank you so much for coming out tonight. Thanks to Jeff Suler and his band. Thanks for the lovely sound. Our spirits are with Graham. Good night, Kessler.